Tom Lloyd with blueandgold.com and 24-7 Sports. Here with Lyle, Illinois, Bennett Academy quarterback Jack Beneventi in the class of 2015. Jack, first of all, thanks for having us out here today. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Um, let's talk a little bit about your uh, your summer this this past summer, the last few months. You've been kind of traveling a little bit. Just just mention the schools that you went and visited. Oh, this summer I visited Georgia, Louisville, Penn State, Tennessee, Virginia Tech. Okay. Now, prior to all those trips, you mentioned to me that Notre Dame was your leader. You know, we we, we covered it when we were at Tom Lemming's camp out in Chicago. Um, where does things stand with that? And and who who is your leader now after all these trips? Notre Dame's still my leader. I'd say uh, the business I took. I really like Louisville. Watson, but Notre Dame is for sure my Okay, and office coordinator Chuck Morton's been your primary recruiter. I know you've got a great relationship with him, and that's part of the reason that you you know you have them on top. So just talk about your relationship with him. I mean, it's, uh, the relationship I have with him has been great. I'd say the, uh, Notre Dame's been the first school that ever recruited me. Uh, actually, before I even started on varsity as a freshman, I was on sophomore, and then my end of my freshman year in June, I went to the camp. It's my back coach Martin took my first visit. So Coach Martin is kind of me before I even played varsity and just our relationship that we've built has been very special to me. He's a great guy. How often do you guys talk? Uh, we're talking about every single week during the season. I think I took probably after Notre Dame about six or seven times. So I think of all those visits, we haven't talked that much uh, right now in the summer, but I think when the season starts, it should be a weekly basis. What is it about Notre Dame that has you so high on him? I mean, is, is it the style of offense, the campus, the education? What, what is it about that stands out? I'll just say the education. For a first hand education, I mean, that's the biggest part for me. Uh, getting a degree from Notre Dame is very special. It's very hard to get to. I really want to go to the business program, the number one business program, uh, I mean, outside of Wharton and the University of Pennsylvania. But I really like that. And then also, I mean, the tradition Notre Dame has, it's the pinnacle of college football. I and mean, you go anywhere around the world, especially when I was just in Bermuda, where Notre Dame had, everyone knows what it is. And I just, uh, being there, uh, Coach Martin, I really like a lot. I, had a great relationship with him, so I know being coached by him is what I definitely want. And then Coach Kelly, too. Also, the kids, they're going to be surrounded by. Um, they're going to be surrounded by you know, world class guys. Uh, education is very huge to them. I know just having kids like that, especially like Nick Wish, would be very great. So, you're, you're getting closer to 10 offers at this point. Can you run off your offer list real quick? Uh, right now, I have six. Okay. I have uh, Notre Dame, Louisville, Iowa, Illinois, West Commission. Okay. And now, for many of those schools outside of Notre Dame, do you have a second or third school? Have you had any rankings or thought about that? Uh, well, outside of Notre Dame, I'll say Louisville. I like visited this summer. I really like that school. I really like the. Uh, I don't really know too much about education one yet, so I'm going to have to still take more visits to know about that. But Coach Watson, it's great to meet him. Just uh, coming close to him has you know, been very important to meet all these coaches. But uh, also, I'm visiting Iowa this week, so that should give me a better hand of how I feel about that school, and then Illinois is, and I really like it as well. Okay, and then the last time we spoke, you said you were thinking about making a decision closer to th this coming signing day, so it'd be right. a year before you just, you know, you actually sign your letter of intent. Um, is that still the plan? Uh, yes, I want to make my decision about after signing day this year, uh, so probably you know, end of February, early March, but I want to be 100% of my decision. So, uh, I mean, at least on the Notre Dame side, I mean, that's still my leader, and I just want to know if Coach Kelly's going to be still there, and especially if Coach Martin's going to be still there. Okay. And then, what are your what are your plans over the next few months? I mean, what's your training schedule been like? You know, you obviously got school you got school starting soon. You got football starting soon. But you know, what have you been doing to get in shape and stuff? I mean, every day I've been throwing and lifting and trying to stay in shape, stay in condition. Uh, the season's about to start, so we've had three weeks off, so we have two days. We can really get at it. So right now, uh, the biggest thing for us is we're going into a no huddle system with uh, different hand signs. So a lot of it is just more the mental side of the game used to that and then uh, clicking to find your receivers as well. What would you, you know, give yourself a, a little scouting report. What do you think the strongest part of your game is right now? I would say more of my accuracy. Let's say uh, being able to stay in the pockets longer than most. Uh, my height definitely helps in that way, being 6'6". Six six. I mean, I'm able to have a guy come right in my face and still get off the ball instead of having to make a, a tough decision very early. I mean, that helps me a lot in helping to see the field. I can really see, you know, different sides of it and have better vision. You know, you know, more the mental side of it, really. Just knowing, okay, if a backer goes out there, or like, especially if you're pretty safe, you know, I can then tell where he goes and take a cover two or cover three. So that's, that's a big part of my game. Uh, you know, I'm still developing it physically. I'm only 16 years old. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I'm really trying to build into my body, build strength. Uh, I feel like that will come. But I think that's a big part of my game is accuracy. 
What's an area that you've really tried to improve on throughout the summer, you know, heading into your junior year? Oh, uh, well this, I've been trying to work on more on strength. Uh, I mean, not just strength in throwing the ball, but just strength on you know, even shorter routes. Just getting the ball there quicker, faster release, but also just strength in my body more, my rotational, and uh, like the trunk, getting that through. So a lot of form stuff as well. Okay, perfect. Again, this is Tom Moore with BlueAndGold.com here with 2015 quarterback Jack Beneventi. Thanks a lot for having us out. Thank you. Thanks for coming.